a youth of New Amsterdam has written a poem which focuses on eliminating racism among Guyanese. Narima Ali reports. Racism is a sore issue that has been unaddressed for decades here in Guyana. Due to the country's diversity, this issue continues to affect our society. As a result, 18-year-old Steve Barry, who resides in New Amsterdam, is taking a more articulated approach in efforts of ending racism among Guyanese. My poem is entitled Red. The reason for the name is because we all bleed the same color. And basically this poem is about showing Guyanese that young minds can change this. If we come together, we can end racism in Guyana. And not only in Guyana, but in the world generally. So I'm advising you guys to, you can go on YouTube, look for Steve Barry and check it out. And let's all fight racism together. Let's take a look at Steve's poem titled Red. Now one, not two, not three, not four, not even five, but six different races in our lovely country, Guyana. Yeah, buddy, as Guyanese, we should love and embrace this. But it's sad to see that we are separated into pieces, and to this year, 2020, people are still racist. Wait, hold, stop, let's get down to the basics. Racism is of the mind and not of the blood. So to hate you, my Indian brothers and sisters, I will never. For you to hate me, your black brothers and sisters, you should never. Join, follow me, let's strive together. Remove and do the mindset of our peer and spirits. This is a message sent like a letter. To make our country and generations to come live as one, we should be better. Guyana, your land, my land, is facing COVID-19, a pandemic. Also, racism, a growing epidemic. I'm calling on young minds to be disconnected from what you were told before you get too old and the story of all six people coming together as one unfortunately becomes untold. Thank you. As a nation with six people, we should come together as one people, one nation, one destiny. What was his inspiration for writing such a poem? The words really, it's from me walking around, seeing people and hearing racial you know racial things from different different people when you walk around you hear this um i quote coolie boy black boy this and so to me it doesn't make sense and i love my indian people i love my afro people i love my chinese people my portuguese my amerindian i love everyone so i don't see racism as something and i want you to know that racism is of the mind and not of the blood so to it you my indian brothers and sisters i will never he then shared that this is not his first poem, but rather his third. Three, actually. The first one I did it for, um, I think was, yeah, for mental health. And, yes, yeah, so, um, that was my first piece. Well, that first piece, it was about um, persons going and get their vaccine. I won $20,000, I think. Yes. The other one, it's about... Um, the name is Mirage and Mayhem, whereby it's telling you that young people, young males, they are being um, driven from what's right. For example, they want to dress in a certain way and go on in a certain way. It's not right. So it's telling you to just focus, be humble, focus on the future, and make a life for yourself. When asked if he has plans on writing any other pieces, he quickly responded by sharing these details. Yes, I would like to do a poem for the um, essential workers just to show them appreciation that they're doing something great for us because we're in a pandemic and they, they are the ones who have to go out there and do certain things for us. Aside from his creative writing, what else has he been doing to occupy his time at home? Just home with family, spending more time and yeah. Well, well, normally I'm at home most of the time. So, well, really, actually, before now, I was social distancing. I never used to be around people much. I like my home because we have less problem and issues with people. So, 
I'm okay at home. In concluding, Steve left this advice for all members of the public. Firstly, I would like to say that despite the um, curfew is extended, we should still, you know, wear a mask, use our um, sanitizer, also practice social distancing. It doesn't mean that because we are there, we can do as we please. We should practice social distancing, six feet apart. It doesn't matter where you are, around your friends, whatever, just social distancing. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.